Uh, good afternoon, everyone, and uh, thank you for that kind introduction. Um, positive ageing company seems like a lifetime ago, so there's going to be lots of ageing jokes coming through here. Um, I'm also 108 years old, so I'm proof that our methodology worked. Um, and also, just the caveat there around the, uh, the comedy, that's probably going to be about as good as it gets, so bear with me for the rest of this whirlwind presentation. I'm also at that terrible moment of both needing glasses and not needing glasses, so um, this, this is going to be fun. Um, we came to be here today. Um, I'm addicted to the world of startups and, and so on, uh, third or fourth time at it and um, always been attracted by macro market shifts. So that's kind of what led me to this whole freelancing gig economy in the first place. The connection back to the old world is fundamentally around demographics. Demographics drives markets. There's no getting away from demographics. And it was looking at the aging population and the aging workforce that I started to see the dots join back into, I'm gonna say the, the, the current terms around freelance and gig. And it's with the idea that um, we are all living much longer. Traditionally, we've been looking at retiring 55, 60, 65, but technically, we are all going to be living until we are 80 and, and working, no, working until we are 80 and living until we are 100. So this sort of mid-range, uh, 40s, 50s, even into 60s is technically halfway through your working life. It's not going to be like the working life that we've kind of all grown up with. It's going to be part of this working life of this new world order. And that is around portfolio and freelance and gig and so forth. So. I've gone completely off script already. I'm gonna bring it right back now. As part of this journey, we've just got back from um, 100 days in the US uh, working with MetLife, the Innovation Center, as part of their Global Accelerator um, uh, powered by Techstars. And with the sole purpose of deep diving into the freelance and the gig economy and the opportunity it presents back to the industry. So we've got some pretty interesting uh, insights to share out of that. If I sound like I've got an American accent, it's because of that experience. Uh, it's probably a horrible mashup now, like, not unlike Meryl Streep with the, uh, the famous uh, American-Australian accent she tried uh, screaming out, a dingo's got my baby. Um, for those of you old enough to have seen that movie. So again, it was all age-related. Uh, plus it was my 50th birthday on Friday, so I'm really, you know, I, I'm championing age because at 50 I really, I need to be halfway through my working life, so I've still got a, a lot to get after. We haven't even got to slide one and the, the clock's ticking. Um, I'm going to... There we go. We, we now live and work in this freelance economy. I should have gone for the walking talkie, but I haven't. Um, and the hashtag there, shift, is happening. It's been happening around us. And this is what demographic does. It happens around you until you actually stop and, and look around. And in, in the old world of the ageing, we used to say, it's been happening for years. Take a, take a stop and look around. Just the colleagues around you. Age has crept us. It's like a rising tide. And demographics plays that way. And it's no different with this freelance and gig economy and the way it's unfolding. Uh, that's good, the clicker works. Now there's some also transition and animations that I'm not 100% used to, so uh, more caveats. Um, anyway, we're portable uh, on a mission to provide flexible, portable uh, insurances, benefits and savings products into this new freelance and the gig economy. And there's reasons behind that. Um, the future of work, it's all tied into that. Here's a hot stat to get us started. 50%, um, I love stats, big stats are better. 50% of the world's workforce are already um, working as freelancers. And we stop and think about that, freelancers, what do we mean by freelancers? We'll get into it a little bit more. But if we stop and think from an industry, a global perspective, 50% of the headcount of available employees are now actually choosing to work by choice in this world of freelance and gig. Big numbers, more on the way. And then, who are the people choosing to live and work as part of this gig economy? Again, we're all attracted to what we think we know when we talk about freelance and gig, uh, but it's everyone, and it's happening now uh, from millennials to baby boomers and pretty much everyone in between. And when we think about the, I should go back, uh, who makes up this, this group, Freelance gig, traditionally gig, everyone's attracted to millennials, Uber, Deliveroo drivers, those guys getting their starts in life, freelancers, creative industries, and so forth. It's not, it's that broad church, as I said, all the way through from those who are just getting started to these baby boomers, semi-retirees, who've been piling out of the workforce in big numbers, but are coming back in just as big numbers for two main reasons. One is 
their inability to fund their 20 or 30 year retirement. They're having to work, they're needing to work, and they're coming back in. Secondly, there's those who've been fortunate enough to probably fund a retirement, but are bored from playing golf every day. And also with the realization that if they don't continue to use their marbles, that slowly decays. So they're still capable and able and interested. Five minutes already, slide two. Wow, okay. Um, so it's big numbers which is driving these 50%. Uh, those coming back into the workforce, the challenges around all of that uh, from a labour shortage and a, and a war for talent. Who, who, who? Um, so here's the insider secret. The gig is big. That's where you go for your phones, the Snapchats, the, 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 the things to get us all out into social media because it is big. And uh, our friends at McKinsey backed this up, reporting that the gig economy was already in the US alone a $1.3 trillion uh, marketplace, huge. The drivers behind it, it's large companies at the end of the day. Uh, not so long ago, they were on a big right-sizing, downsizing, forcing a lot of people out the door, only to realize that they still require um, talent, starting to bring them in back, uh, but now on a more uh, non-employee basis, part-time, flexible, uh, independent contractors and the like. Also technology, you've probably heard a lot about that already, no surprises, it's driving this. The global village concept, being able to live anywhere, work anywhere, anytime, is powering into it. Also the industry, the drive towards flexible working that everyone in this room uh, desires and demands. Also is pushing people to take it that extra step further and live this flexible freelance life by choice where once upon a time it wasn't so much the case. And then the demographics I've already touched on. As I said, this is a global market phenomenon and actually a fundamental shift in the way that people work and fundamentally from our point of view, the way they need to be insured. Uh, because the 50% who now choose to live and work this way, um, the risk is even bigger because our research has shown us that, oh, oh, too many clicks, 74% of them are either uninsured or chronically underinsured and by default facing huge financial risk every single day. So these are staggering numbers and the way most people are going about it in the now is trying to bodge a few solutions together or ultimately uh, run the risk. That's against the backdrop of, of you know, the headlines that we all see here. These organisations that have just been born really a few years old but in staggering numbers uh, of scale and scope um, are trying to uh, keep the, the separation between employer and employee. It blows up their business model. So we're seeing a lot of regulatory stuff going on here and there's a lot in that time to be settled and sorted. So I talk about us being on really week one of a 100 year journey from the traditional models that we've all grown up with into these new models which are fast unfolding around the world at the free. Won't spend too much time on this, but basically the team we've got in place, we've got a over, over 100 years of experience across all the, the component parts. But most importantly, uh, Portable is being built by freelancers for freelancers. Independent consultant for 15 years, uh, business of one, providing consulting services into industry. In this day and age, I had a, a number of clients. In this day and age, it would be called a number of gigs. So we understand the pain points and we know how to make things better from a personal level and then from top down where the industry needs to move too fast. Um, excuse me. This is the problem. Um, when you're a full-time employee, everything is provided for you, much as what you've heard about today. When you go out on your own, uh, you've got nothing. And what needs to happen is people start putting things back into place one brick at a time, all of a sudden managing between seven to 12 relationships by themselves, and it becomes this huge mess all underpinning that, they still don't know if they're covered or protected or not, and um, there's no need for that to happen anymore. That's our premise. This should be a video, good, it's kicking in. Um, this is where Portable steps in. So we've got our rich data engine, which ties back in nicely to some of the suggestions from the previous speaker, um, that enables us to present back to you now a customised bundle of products and services that are tailored to you as an individual, the nature of work that you do and the stage of life that you're at. Then in one simple step, you can subscribe to that bundle on a monthly subscription basis, um, and we take care of all the rest. You can pause at any time your membership, again, feeding into the dynamics required by the customer. And from that point on, you only have a relationship with us, just like your old company used to look after you. Uh, you then become a member of Portable, where you get access to the group buying power and discounts we've organised on your behaviour. And you even get rewarded for introducing other like-minded individuals into our network 
Um, Portable now finds itself as your trusted business partner, saving you the time, money and stress, freeing you up to enjoy life and to get after your work. And you also rest easy knowing that we are there in the background um, for whenever you might need us. That is the end of the product, Emma, and that worked. Um, so there you have it. It's portable, it's personalised, it's flexible, it's accessible, it's comprehensive, and most importantly, it's fun, um, which is important to us because our, our second core value in the organisation is having serious fun. Um, on that point, uh, the offer out to the audience, if any of you got big ideas on ways to make us better, we'd love to hear about it. That's everything from distribution opportunity to if you've got great products or services you think might fit into that bundle, we'd love to hear about it. That's the stop. Ooh, so close. Don't need me to remind you the gig is big. Um, we're about insurance and benefits for freelancers at the end of the day. If you'd like to learn more about what this market means, our time in the US, the insights we've got around freelancing gig economy of the future, happy to share those. Come find us. Whew, done. Sorry. Good. Thanks. I think.